You're locked in your house. You're learning Python. You're writing games. And now you need to make your dog jump. You know the math. You learned it in trig, but you don't quite remember how much you want to do. That's okay. You can learn the math and you can let your computer do it for you. This is Paul Austin and we're Computer Science Foundations. We're working with the Mew Editor and here we've got a small little game. Uh, let's go ahead and just look at what we're doing. All right. You want to make your dog jump. Maybe it's a rock. Maybe it's an alien. You need to make it flip. Well, Pygame Zero has some functions built in to just make it a piece of cake to do that. So this particular version of the game right here, I got some constants up at the front like usual. And we're going to look at, I'm looking at the control cue here. Um, I went ahead and packaged the module as a game. And that's a small little switch. Now Pygame Zero is going to want to call uh, the functions. It's going to look for a draw entry point. It's going to look for an update. And uh, then other callbacks might need to have them. And we're going to turn around and change those to a method on our object. So we got three different objects. So let's look at let's look at that update. That's where the, all the key stuff's going to happen. So in update, we're checking to see if the keyboard space is pressed, and then there's something about is an animation object, or if it's none. So the first time you run through, when you hit that space bar, it's going to be none. So let's look at what happens. We're setting is jumping true, and we're setting the animation object. This is where that is set to the function call animate. It's got a few different lines, so I spread it over. Uh, well, it's got a long set of parameters, so I spread it over a few different lines. So, first one is something called tween. That's how it's going to animate. What's is it smooth? We'll see what that means in a second. Uh, the duration is how long it's going to be. It's going to take, and then for the jump, we're going to break it up into two parts um, because it's going to go up and then it's going to go back down. And with uh, Pygame Zero, they don't have one that does both of those, so and that kind of makes sense. So uh, we're going to take that time and divide it by two, and then when it's finished, which is finished with the first part, we're going to call this animation done function, and we're going to specify where we want it to, to jump to right here by specifying the the ground location. And here we're subtracting out that Y, so it's going to jump up in the air. And while that's happening, this is what's nice about computers. Not only do they do the tedious work for you, sometimes they do stuff in parallel. So while we're making the dog jump, we're also going to make it flip. And we're using a different tween mode on this. This says tween linear. Again, we'll see this in a second. And the duration is going to be for the entire period of the jump. When it's finished, we're not going to do anything because the animation is taking care of the work for us. And here we're seeing that we're animation, animating an angle. In this animation, this one's the position. So let's go again. Now that you've seen a little bit of what's going on here, let's just, see, let's just test that again. All right, here's the dog. I hit the space bar. It's doing a flip. I've actually made it so it flips around one way the first time and the second way the second time, just for variety. That's the kind of thing you can show in your game. All right, um, and then at the end we do a play. So there's an the on draw. Now one of the things I wanted you to see here is um, the angle in that object, the actor object, is changing. Um, we're not doing the changing, but the game framework is changing it for us. Likewise, the game position is changing. So if we clear that screen out there. Now on the animation done, this is going to be halfway through the overall jump. It says, hey, is it jumping? If so. We're going to go ahead and change the type of ex the type of animation, which is called a tween, which is how the individual frames. It's kind of an old term from from um, oh yeah, well from animation days. I'll just say that. And um, same amount. It's going to be half the period of time, and we're going to end up back at our ground location where the animation was actually started. Now, if we come back the second time, this is called the animation done, which will be when we're done. We're going to set the animation angle to for the zero to, to the animation angle back to zero, and we're going to have to play the sound. Now, here's a bit I want to show you just what's kind of happening from a schematic point of view. The two animations are happening, and first one does decelerate as it's going up into the air, so it's slowing down as it gets to its peak. And when it gets to the peak, then it begins to accelerate as it goes back down to the ground. So those two animations happen back to back, and then parallel to that. Um, we're doing the linear one, and that's doing the angle. And there's an interesting element is that the angle goes from 0 to 360. The animation would leave it there, um, but then at the end of our code we had, I guess I'll clear that screen out here, notice I set the angle back to 0. 
So if you didn't do that, the dog would go for zero to 360 the first time, and the second time it would do 360 to 360, which means it wouldn't do anything. So you do have to do that reset yourself. And uh, so let's go back and look back at the game. Let's see our dog, it's ready to go. I guess we should do something to end this up with. And why don't we go ahead and change that from 360. And this is what's nice by letting the computer do the work for you. We'll just change it to 720. And now when we make that dog, I can teach my dog new tricks. All right, you can do the double flip. Hi, it's Paul Austin with Computer Science Foundations, and we just learned animations in Pi Game Zero. God bless you, and take care. Bye.